Debbie Marcoux is licensed by the Department of Business Oversight under the California Residential Mortgage Lender Act, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504, Florida, 76508, Georgia, 69178, Illinois, 031.0058339, Nevada, 57237, Oregon, Tennessee, 184373, Texas, Washington, 237926. Heidi Cycle Points, DBO, 1666881, Arizona, 101648. Let's see if it'll work. Let's see. Let's see if not. Matt can is move Is the power on? Oh, no, it's not. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, oh. We're not moving, Matt. We're not moving. Oh, wait. Maybe hitting play would help. Here, I'll click nope, one in. No, you click them nope. for me. It's not working today. <laughs> nope. All right. So the first thing to do, like I said, about the phone app is download it. If you guys have been thinking about buying a house, this is the best way for you to be able to get some information yourself. There's calculators on here. They're going to run the payment for you for VA, FHA, conventional, USDA, less than 20% down, mortgage insurance, anything you could possibly need to know or try to get an idea of what that payment might be is in this phone app. You can also, like I said, you can watch the workshops. You guys can uh, do your loan application. You can email us. You can call us. You can do just about anything that you need from the phone app. So text the word mom to 36260. Get that link, save it to your home screen, and start working on it. Um, there's even an affordability calculator, which is pretty nice, because a lot of times people don't know, well, how much could I buy? But they're still a little scared to pick up the phone and talk to us. So it's actually just really, really good you know, to be able to kind of play around yourself. I can tell you this, when Heidi grabs a, a hold of your file, she is going to get you qualified for more than what that affordability app says. As long as you don't lie in it. I mean, obviously, guys, don't lie. If you're self-employed, we're going to use your net income. Net. Not your gross. Not your 1099. What did you write off and what did that bottom line say? That's your income. So just remember, as long as you don't lie to the app, you're going to qualify for what you see. And if not, we're going to probably qualify you for a little bit more. So, um, all right, Matt, let's go ahead and switch the screen. Let's go on to the next slide. I just got to tell you, you threw me off, Deb. Yeah? Why? I was ready for your, ready for your recorded yeah. workshop, and I'm, like, going to watch it. <laughs> and then you start talking. I uh, know. You're doing this with me live. We're doing this workshop live right now. People are getting it just like they were sitting in the room and watching us do it. So, no, you're – Well, I got that now. <laughs> you're Thanks. doing it. You're, you're in. You're, you're, you're in. 100%. You're in. You're, you're committed. All right. So how do you contact us? All right. So the first thing is the phone app, like I just mentioned. That is the best way to contact us. Easiest. Call us, email us, whatever you guys need. Text the word mom to 36260. You guys can go to our Facebook, like I've mentioned. Go to our YouTube, watch our videos, and you can call us. It's 844-935-3634. And, hey, I've got a big thing that I want to ask of everybody out there. You guys watch us you know, weekly, whether it's YouTube or it's Facebook. If you're watching the show live, if you're listening Saturday morning, you guys are listening. A lot of you are out there listening to the podcast that we upload. If you like the information that you get, you guys are emailing me with questions. We're answering them for you. If you like the information, please, please, please go to our Yelp. Please say something. Give us a review. Tell everybody how much help that we were. You might not have liked the answer, but you got it. You got it fast. There is nobody that I ignore ever, and I give it to you straight. I absolutely do not lie to you. I do not drag you through the mud. I tell you if we can or we can't do it. I tell you how we can do it and how to fix it if that's what's necessary. And then we get you rolling into the right direction. So please don't, uh, you know, think of us. Give, give us a minute, right? Either go to Google and give us a review on Google or go to Yelp. Give us a review on Yelp. We'd really, really appreciate it. It would mean so much for us. It is so good for us, especially Google, because it does help. Google ties to YouTube, and it just helps the overall algorithm. So we'd really appreciate that. All right. So loan program conventional. How we doing, Matt? You ready um, to click? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, comment from Soleil on uh, YouTube says, Hi, girls. Finally made it back to the live sessions. Missed you and your lessons. Oh, thank you, Soleil. And hey, I've got your loan application that came through, but none of your documents. Bad girl. <laughs> Make sure you get those uploaded so we can go ahead and take a look at everything we got going on for you. Um, but yeah, we're, we're really, we're real people. I've talked to Soleil on the phone. She's done her application, and now I'm... Uh, I'm telling her that she's a bad girl for not getting her stuff done. So, guys, it, it is real. You are listening to me on radio. You're listening to me on YouTube, Facebook, podcast. You are going to talk to me. You are going to work with me. You are going to talk to Heidi. She's going to yell at you. Just kidding. 
<laughs> totally kidding. Maybe. Um, no, but Maybe. you know, <laughs> but you know, you're really working with the girls here that that are, are doing it. And we're giving you the advice, and we're going to make sure that we get you through. You know, from start to finish. So please reach out. Get those. You know, get those appointments set. It's all by phone. I'm not meeting with people in person. Not doing it right now. You know, with everything that's going on. But we can get so much done by phone and get your application in right online and everything uploaded right through a portal and you know it's 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 pretty easy and and we'll get things moving forward but if you don't talk to us you don't even know where to start and you usually don't get started so um all right so today conventional we ready matt we got we got a, a, another uh, what, what what slide slide I did oh, yeah. I did make this PowerPoint you think I'd know what they're called right all right so conventional conforming so this is a conventional loan uh, it is not a government loan it is backed by Fr Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac and uh, you know this this is uh, where everybody starts talking about PMI and do I need PMI and do I have to include my impounds do I not blah 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 okay let's go to the first uh, you got to hit click the button to get that oh. first uh, piece there. I, I really I need I need to like take get the clicker to work because you're not paying you attention, Matthew. Oh, sorry, I was I was handling technical <laughs> issues. Apparently, Heather couldn't hear us, but she was the only one. So, <laughs> so maybe it's a Heather technical issue. Okay, yeah. I love it. All right, and hey, Aunt Pam, thank you so much for sharing the video. Really, really, really appreciate that, guys. Remember, if you guys are listening on Saturday morning, you can be watching us do it live Wednesdays at five on YouTube. Follow along. You'd be asking questions. Matt could be reading them out loud if he's paying attention, and uh, we're gonna get those answered for you. Uh, <laughs> I, we we got to have a little bit of fun, right? I, I, deci I decided this show is going to be a fun show. Okay, so um, so here we go. Conventional down payment as low as 3%. So Heidi, how many times have you heard somebody say, I am waiting to buy a house because I need 20% down, so I'm saving? Well, I can't count that high, <laughs> um, but it happens all the time. Yeah. I hear people tell me all the time, I can't buy, you have to have a minimum of 20%. And right. then the other people... I have to have 10% down. Right. Like, well, why? Right. What are you buying? <laughs> like, <laughs> right. who are you talking to? Right. So, you know, if you wait all of the time that it takes to save the 20% down or to save the 10% down, and that took you a year, two years, three years to get that savings put together, think about all the time that you've lost out on your tax deductions for interest and property taxes, the equity that you've lost out on with your property going up in value, all the time that you've thrown your money away paying rent, not putting it towards you know, something that is valuable, that is your own. You've got to look at your home like it's going to be a future retirement plan. Put your own money into your own self. So um, we can get you in with 3% down with conventional. You don't have to go FHA. Uh, FHA is fantastic. Go back last week. Listen to why FHA is fantastic. There are a ton of up you know, reasons to go to FHA and it's not for everybody and it is for some and every single person is going to fit into the loan program that works best for them depending on their personal scenario. But if conventional is good for you, then we can still get you in. You don't need that 10% down. You don't need that 20% down. It is not necessary. Um, so let's move on to the next one, Matt. All right. So no mortgage insurance options available and mortgage insurance can be removed later. So um, Heidi, yes. what do you got to say about that? So mortgage insurance, if you do not have 20% down, you have options with the mortgage insurance. You can pay it monthly. You can buy it out up front. So single premium, buy it out up front. You can have lender paid mortgage insurance. That's you know, your rate is going to be higher with that. And you can have a split mortgage insurance. So lender and buyer. Mm -hmm. There are different options and you have to see what fits your situation best, what you want to do. And then as far as you can have it removed, and you might have to correct me if I'm wrong on this one, but once your property has hit 20% equity in the property, you can request to have it removed without having to refi most of the time. Yes. So with an FHA loan, which we talked about last week, again, if you guys want to know more about FHA, go back to that workshop. You got to find the uh, folder in our YouTube channel that says Homebuyer Workshop 2021. Last week we worked on FHA and we talk all about it. With an FHA loan, you cannot remove mortgage insurance. The only way to get rid of it is to do a refinance later down the road. In with a conventional loan, you can remove the mortgage insurance. And this is really, really important to think about right now 
when interest rates are under 3%, which is where they are for most transactions. Investment property is going to be a little bit higher. If you've got a lower credit score, going to be a little bit higher, but we're still talking low threes, right? But most clients right now are getting rates that are under 3% in the 2% range. If it takes your property three or four years, or it takes you three or four years to get your property equity down to a 20% level, interest rates might be higher down the road. They might be higher in two years, three years, four years, five years, where if it's a conventional loan, you can actually ask to get that mortgage insurance removed and keep that interest rate that you have, not have to do a refinance, not have to pay any refinance costs. So the conventional loan definitely has its benefit there. Now, every single lender is a little bit different. Every servicing lender is a little bit different. Some of them, if your property goes up in value, it just gains value on its own. Property values are going up right now, and you've got 20% equity in the home. You can call them and ask. They will typically uh, have you order an appraisal. They will actually order the appraisal. Appraisal comes in. They'll remove the mortgage insurance. Other servicing lenders will not do that. Whatever you bought the house for or wherever your loan started, so whether it was a refi or a purchase, whatever that actual beginning balance was, they will require that you pay that balance down by the full 20%. So if you buy it for 400 and we need to get to 320 to get the 20% equity, you're going to have to buy that loan balance, pay it, pay it down, make payments, get it to the 320, then you can call and have that mortgage insurance removed. Every servicing lender is a little bit different, but at the end of the day, the bottom line is you can get the mortgage insurance removed without having to do a refinance. So again, if you can buy a home today or you can refinance today, get into that conventional loan, get those really low interest rates, down the road, you don't have to refinance and you can hold on to that low interest rate that you got in 2021. So it is a pretty big benefit over going, let's say, convention or FHA, where you have to do a refinance because if interest rates are four or five percent down the road it may not make sense to do the refinance and you may just continue to pay that mortgage insurance because your interest rate on the loan is so much better than what it would be you know if you did refinance the property so um i did i get it yeah yeah okay yeah. all right you got all it right. Got it. All right. Again, if you guys are out there, you have questions, please put your questions into the feed. We're going to read them out loud. We will answer them for you. We'd be happy to. Uh, if you guys are listening Saturday morning on radio, you guys should be watching us live. I know you heard something that we said. I know you've got a question or a comment and you can't give it to us because you're not watching us live on Wednesday when we record. So make sure you guys are doing that. Go to the YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, click on that notification bell and make sure you hit all that way, you know, when we go live. All right, so let's go on to the next one. All right, so mortgage insurance premiums can be more competitive than FHA, and that is true. It tro totally depends on you and your credit score. With a conventional loan, not everybody gets the same mortgage insurance. Your mortgage insurance is, is based on how many borrowers are on the loan. What are your credit scores? How much down payment do you have? What is your loan to value? They're going to take the entire situation into, uh, they're going to look at it all and they're going to determine what that premium will be. So if you have a lower credit score, you may be better off with that FHA mortgage insurance that is one, one for everybody. Everybody pays the same thing. Nobody pays different. If you've got a nice high credit score, you're probably better off with a conventional loan for a cheaper monthly mortgage insurance. Um, we've got a couple comments over here on YouTube. A question from Sole says, uh, my boyfriend wants to know if it's worth him refinancing for a 15 year, if he's currently got a 3.99 locked interest rate and approximately 15 years left on his loan. Yes, it is worth it. So he's paying at 3.99% right now. A 15 year fixed is in the mid threes. Uh, it, obviously everybody is a little bit different credit score, how much equity in the home, uh, where is this property located? Is it a single family, a condo, units? Every, you know, is it primary residence? Is it a rental property? So everybody's going to be a little bit different. But I did quote somebody today on an owner-occupied refinance, 15-year fixed at 2.375. So you're not only going down from 4%, basically, to 2.375, but then the monthly payment's going to drop, and we're still going to have you on the 15-year fix. So definitely something uh, that would be worthwhile, Soleil, for the boyfriend. 
And then uh, my friend Dave from back in high school has uh, dropped in from Twitch to say hi with a very weird emoji that I can't quite describe. We got a Twitch watcher! <laughs> <laughs> It only took you texting a friend, but it worked. <laughs> oh, no, that I, I did not tell him to do that. Oh, Dave, I love you. It's my Dave, right? The Dave I know. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, Dave. Yep, Dave, Dave. Uh, What's up, Dave? Dave, I love you. Thanks so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. You can sponsor us at the bottom of your Twitch channel. Try to bring people over to Mortgage Mom Radio for us. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Way to get some followers there. Right, right. <laughs> well, he says, let's go. Yeah. Um, and then Houseboat Billy over on YouTube says, hey, ladies. Hey, Houseboat Billy. Thank you again so much. Our loyal follower. We've got Houseboat Billy and Sole. Now we've got Dave. We've got Realtor Heather. And all the rest is my family. <laughs> so we got to get some gotta more people on here. Got to start somewhere, right? Yes, we got to start somewhere. Right? We got to get more people on here. If you guys are listening, please, please put your questions in the feed. Say hi. Let us know you're here. All right, so back and to the good stuff. We, did oh, I miss just something? one last thing. Yeah. Sorle says thank you. I will let him know. Uh, you're very welcome. It is my pleasure. Uh, all right, so let's get back to this. Uh, conventional mortgage insurance premiums can be more competitive than FHA, and that is absolutely true. A lot of times they can be significantly less than FHA, especially if you have a very high credit score. So another benefit of a conventional loan. All right, you got anything to say about that, Heidi? Did I get it? No, I think that's exactly what I would say. Okay, love it. All right, We're probably better. So yeah. ready? <laughs> we we'll are go. ready. Next bullet point. All right, so uh, can be closed as a combination first and second. Uh, these do still exist. They are a little bit harder since COVID hit. Uh, there aren't as many banks that are willing to do a second mortgage behind a first mortgage, but conventional loans do allow for a first and second. So, for example, if you have a 10% down payment, you wanted to get an equity line of credit for 10%, that would allow you to have an 80% loan, no mortgage insurance whatsoever, whatever, and then carry that 10% second in the line of credit. Right now, and correct me if I'm wrong, Heidi, and you give your opinion, but I believe right now with where interest rates are being as low as they are, you are much better off to take a 90% loan at a low fixed interest rate for 30 years if we need to buy out the mortgage insurance, we do that. But I think that that is better than carrying a line of credit that is adjustable. It's interest only. You're never paying it back unless you pay more. It's only open for 10 years before you got to pay it back. So I just personally think that in today's rate environment, you're better off to lock it all up in one. But that's my personal opinion. Uh, well, I agree with that for a couple of reasons. I think the rates are so low right now, I would go higher on the first, not have any kind of adjustable, not have to pay it back in 10 years and worry about that second. And then the second part of it is to get an equity line right now is very, very difficult. The guidelines and parameters and the paperwork that are required are very different than on a first. And they've gotten more and more strict as we've gone into COVID. So you have less options of who will do it, less options of what they're willing to accept and not accept. So in my opinion, it's you can get the 90% and get that fixed rate. I wouldn't even at this point go for an equity line at yeah. all. Yeah. And we're talking about 90% because most lines of credit, not all, there is a bank out there that will do more than that. But on average, the majority if they are going to be willing to bring a second behind a first mortgage, typically want you to have at least a 10% down payment. So if you only have 3% down, you're not going to get a 17% line of credit to make up the difference to get to the 80% to remove the mortgage insurance. We're better off looking at other options to cover that mortgage insurance difference. So, um, But yes, it, conventional will still allow that. It is still an option, and it is definitely something that we can talk about to see if it, if, it, if it works for you, if it's good for you. All right, are we ready? Here we go. All right, state of California, a 10% or more down payment. Taxes and insurance are not required to be part of your monthly payment. This is in most states. The reason that I put on here state of California is because that is the one that I know 100%. If you have at least 10% down payment, you do not have to impound your taxes and insurance. Uh, most states follow this rule. There are a couple of states that do not. So I just wanted to be very specific. I'm located physically in California. We have talked about this before. I am licensed in many, many states. 
if you want to know if that is an option for you to pay your taxes and insurance separately with 10% or more down payment, all you have to do is give me a call, get on my calendar, send me an email, ask me the question, watch us live Wednesdays at 5, put it into the feed, and we will look up the information for you and we will get you the answer. So if you want to know about uh, you know, Arizona, Nevada, Washington, Tennessee, uh, Georgia, Texas, Illinois, my goodness, I don't even know, Idaho, I'm trying to think of all the places that we're licensed, right? Oregon. Oregon. I feel like I missed one. I don't know. But we've got all those states covered. So if you want to know about your particular state, we will make sure that we get that answer for you. Um, I did talk about what impounds are and what escrows are. I did explain that in the very first workshop, which was our workshop uh, unit number one, where we go into all of the um, buzzwords, what is impounds, what's escrow, who is escrow, because there is a who has escrow, there is a what is escrow. Uh, so if you're kind of wondering what are we talking about with impounds, go back and watch that workshop because it will explain to you and kind of get you back on the right page. Um, all right, cool. So w ready? All right. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Come on, Matt. I, I swear to God, this is like a I was off the thing. screen. <laughs> You're killing me. All right. Loan amounts up to 822375 depending on the county. So, and I have to say that depending on the county. Conventional loans when are based on the county average of the property values. And Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will set those limits every single year. They change. And they are based on what that average price of home is in your area. So for example, here in LA, in Los Angeles County, you ha can go all the way as high as 822, 375. You cannot go that high in Ventura County. You cannot go that high in San Diego County, but you can go that high in Orange County. Arizona, you're stuck. I don't know, and I could be totally wrong, but I don't know of a single county that allows you to go over the standard 522, or no, I'm sorry, 548, 250. So, you know, it's going to depend on your area. Are you in a high cost area? Obviously, if you live in San Francisco, you're in a high cost area. If you live in New York, you're in a high cost area. So if you live in a high cost area, you're going to get a higher loan limit, but it's not necessarily all the way up to the 822, 375. Just like San Diego is expensive, it's California, but you're not getting all the way up as high as Los Angeles does. Uh, Heidi, off the top of your head, do you know of any other areas that you know of to be high cost? Hawaii. Hawaii. Well, yeah. Hawaii is one of the highest. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. So, yep. um, all right, cool. So where are we going? Where's the next one? We got anything left after that? That's all right. All right. More lenient guidelines than jumbo. So the reason that I brought that up is that when you are in a conventional loan, you've typically got great credit, good debt ratios, um, you know, you're, you're in a higher priced home and you might be teeter tottering on that jumbo arena. You are definitely, it is easier. I can hear the baby in the background. Um, it <laughs> yeah. is definitely easier to qualify for a conventional loan than it is a jumbo loan. So if you are in the jumbo arena and let's just say your 20% down payment got you to like a loan amount of 838 and you're in Los Angeles County, you might want to bring in just a little bit more to get to that 822, 375, because it is absolutely going to make it easier for you to get that loan. By far. Hands down. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I can't agree more. That's all we have if to say. If you can stay out of that jumbo arena, stay out of it. Yes. If you can't, we will help you and we will get you through it. But yes. It, it, there's a lot more guidelines. There's a lot more requirements. And, you know, all that means is a lot more paperwork. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, one thing that I didn't mention about conventional, and this is the same for uh, FHA, if you are buying a two-unit property, three-unit property, or four-unit property, once you get over four units, you are considered commercial. You are not residential anymore. But when you are a two- to four-unit property, depending on how many units that you are, the loan limit that is allowed does go up higher. So you could get into a million dollar property with a three unit, you know, uh, three unit home and uh, that would still be a conventional loan. You wouldn't necessarily have to go to a jumbo loan. So uh, just one thing that we didn't mention or that we haven't talked about. So is there anything, because I'm pretty sure that's my last bullet point on mm -hmm. this slide. Is there anything about conventional, Heidi, that I didn't bring up or that I didn't mention that you feel would be really important for our listeners to know? 
So there's one thing I'll bring up if you're doing a conventional purchase and you're getting a gift. Conventional is a little more lenient than like what we talked about with FHA, right? We don't have to get as much documentation from the donor, the person gifting you the money. It's a little more streamlined. It's a little bit more simple. There's less to prove. So that's always a benefit too of going conventional if that's really the right fit for you. Right. So something I can you know, throw in there. Yeah, no, I like that because honestly with FHA, we need to get the donor's bank statement, which a lot of times they get irritated with. We have to right. actually track the money. We need to see that it went out of the account and get verification of it, where yeah. with a conventional loan, the donor can literally send the money directly to the escrow company, sign a gift letter and done. We're done. So, yeah. Yep. So no, that was good. I'm see, I, that's why I've yep. got you on here. You're such a smart cookie. <laughs> All right, Matt, how are we doing? We got anybody, any questions, anything going on in the comments at the moment? Um, well, yeah. Uh, Aunt Pam says she's watching live from the app, which is cool. Oh, very cool. I'm happy that that works. I was hoping that it still did. You know, I mean, you know, they change things all the time. You so see, you set the phone app up and you're hoping that like links don't move and they don't change. So that's great to know. Hey, everybody out there, I keep telling you, you can watch us on YouTube live from the phone app. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. I love it. 